Hey there everybody, Decaf here from YSFlightHeadquarters.com and YSUpload.com and today we're talking about cutting polygons. Now, in Blender, when I say cutting polygons, that's actually a little bit of a misnomer because Blender doesn't actually cut the faces or the polygons in its mesh. It does something a little bit different. So here we have a just a, a, a simple little plane that has been inserted into Blender and we're currently in edit mode. And edit mode has three uh, settings that we can be in, vertex selection mode, edge select, or face select. And when we are cutting, it doesn't matter which one we're in because it only is going to matter where we're actually defining our cut path. So when we're making a cut, we need to press the K button and that'll open up the loop or cut menu. And there's four options here. There's loop cut, exact knife cut, midpoint cut, and multi cut. And we're going to talk about all of these guys today. So first, let's start with the exact cut, because this is uh, the most versatile uh, in terms of freeform cutting. Now, we're going to have to cut edges in Blender, not faces. Wherever we intersect an edge with our cut path, that is where we're actually going to make a cut. So as I'm clicking along here, we have a purple line, which is the cut path so far and then we have a gray sort of preview line that I uh, am making and once we have our cut path all defined we can drag our mouse over to the side and we can press enter but notice that only one edge was cut and that's because we only intersected one edge if we intersect two edges we cut two edges if we want to make a uh, uh, that sort of makes a curve in here, like if we're making a camouflage or something like that, it doesn't actually work. What we're going to need to do is subdivide our uh, mesh here. If we press W and then select subdivide, now we have four squares instead. And I need to have them actually all selected in order for them to all be cut. Whatever I select will be cut. Whatever I don't select won't be cut in the sense that I won't, whatever cut path I have through that face, won't actually be registered. So here we go. Now I can make a nice curve there. And it's a little bit rough, but we can further refine it by, you know, dragging, dragging this guy out. And there is a lovely curve in our mesh. So let's talk about how cutting interacts in 3D. Here is a cube that we're working with. And in edit mode, once again, where we have all of our cuts happening, we want to cut uh, a few faces here. Uh, let's say we want to cut these two faces. Uh, what would happen if we actually made a cut that went all the way across kind of like this? Well, notice that wherever we intersect, the edges got cut, and that affected whatever faces touched that edge. So even though this side over here wasn't... Um, selected initially, it got affected because it shared an edge with a face that was cut. Uh, also, we want to take a look at um, maybe what kind of angle we're looking at here. Um, let's make uh, sure everything here is selected so we can really see what goes on here. And I'm going to try to cut straight across on the x-axis here, this red line. Right? But now we have an, uh, an angle here. Now that cut was made completely perpendicular to the screen. It was going straight in. So it matters how we're oriented relative to the model. And we want to make use of our seven, one, and three number pad uh, view slots. That'll get us to the side, top, and front, respectively. Uh, so that is that. Let's talk a little bit about the multi-cut tool. If we, uh, or midpoint actually, next one down, let's do that one first. Uh, midpoint is really sort of self-explanatory. It cuts at the midpoint of every single segment. So here is a cut path that is not going through the center of the edges that it intersects, but the cut is made through the center of those edges. So that's kind of powerful. It, it can be really, really handy. Uh, additionally, the multi-cut is kind of similar to that, but it will insert 
two, three, four, 25 cuts, whatever number you want, um, in the place of a midpoint cut. So here we have three cuts selected. And so that means it's going to make three cuts along intersecting all these uh, edges there. And so it creates four sections with three cuts. So these are really, really powerful tools, but I kind of want to show you one last thing. So here is a cylinder. And this is uh, the basic shape that a lot of scratch modeling is done with. And so we're going to need to be able to position a cut at a very precise point and between vertices, perhaps. So let's talk about uh, the loop cut, and then we'll talk about some special case cuts after that. A loop cut uh, has two ways to access it. First, we have it through the cut menu, but as you can see here, we can also do control R. Now, what a loop cut is looking for is a loop to uh, work. Nah, come on. So I can move along any kind of face and it'll try to make a complete loop through that face. And typically we like to use it just along uh, circumferentially along a cylinder, just like this. And what I can do is click and then here's the rear power. I can drag it to wherever I want. And it's really nice. This is really, really powerful when we have one side that has been scaled down a little bit or even at a cone. If I try to do a loop cut here, I can scale this down and it'll automatically size where the vertices are relative to the mesh. It's not actually deforming the shape of the mesh. It's just fitting in these vertices wherever I need. So we have that option, but there's also another feature of the loop cut. And if we get back into it here, control R, if I scroll up or down, I can add or insert uh, cuts. So it's basically a multi-cut all in one. Very, very powerful, very, very useful tool. So let's say, uh, let's go back to our plane here. Let's say we wanted to make a precise cut going between that vertice there and that vertice there. Well, how would we do it? You know, that's not an easy thing to do freehand. But what we can do is use the snap to vertex option. If we're going to make a cut, let's say we're going to use the exact cut tool. We hold down control and click as close as we can to one vertice. It'll snap right to that vertice and we can let go of control and click over here and select that point there. And it works out just fine. And then we press enter and it makes a cut right between those two. Additionally, if we have a lot of vertices or something like that, or a lot of faces that we're trying to cut through and we want to cut vertically through them or horizontally through them, what we can also do is have the snap to horizontal or vertical. So what that is, is if we go cut, exact cut, and we click up here somewhere and we start dragging way down towards the direction of one of the axes. In this case, I'm dragging along the green axis or the Y axis. If I go really far down here, it's pretty obvious that I'm going, you know, in this direction. And if I click on the middle mouse button, it'll snap to the vertical. Now, same thing. If I'm trying to go horizontally, if I go really, really far out and cl middle click, it'll snap to the horizontal axis. So that is all about the cut tool. If you got any questions about this, and I know that some people have some questions, so please ask them down below. I'll be happy to help you out, whatever you need. Uh, if you uh, want to talk to me on wiseflightheadquarters.com, I usually poke around there. Uh, as always, I'm happy to help. Uh, until next time, I hope you can make some really cool features with this tool. See you then. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to find some cool add-ons for YS Flight, head on over to wiseupload.com, the official add-on hosting site for wiseheadquarters.com.